Hello, all, and welcome to another episode of Decadent Wealth, a channel where we discuss all things wealth. If you like this content, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of new content. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into this week's topic, handbags. Gucci, Fendi, Chanel, Hermes, Louis, Bottega. These name brands are a girl's and a guy's best friends. There are top handle, crossbody, and shoulder bags that come in small, medium, and large styles and in a plethora of different leathers, exotic skins, and a variety of colors. Some are handmade and some have gold, silver, and even palladium hardware. Handbags, purses, or pocketbooks have long been the symbols of a person's wealth or status. Like a wristwatch or automobile, the handbag is an accessory and an extension of a person's style and personality. Brands like Louis Vuitton, Prada, and Dior are highly coveted and often inspire many dupes and knockoffs. In fact, there is a whole industry geared towards selling people fake designer bags. LVMH, the most valuable company in Europe, owns several of the most coveted handbag brands like Celine, Loewe, and Fendi. But these are not the only bags that are sought after. Arguably, the most valuable handbags are the Trinity, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and Hermes. These brands consistently rank high in resale value and sometimes can beat the S&P for return on investment. In this video, I'm going to list the brands that not only have the branding, but also a rich history, exquisite craftsmanship, quality, and beauty. Some brands you've heard of, but some you may not be aware of. But don't worry, that's why I'm here. So without further ado, here are the top 10 most expensive and coveted handbag brands. Number 10, Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton Maritier was founded in 1854 by Louis Vuitton in Paris, France, and has been owned and operated by the luxury conglomerate Louis Vuitton Moet and Hennessy, or LVMH, since 1987. From 2006 to 2012, Louis Vuitton was the world's most valuable luxury brand. Vuitton started as a trunk maker. He was the first to introduce flat-topped, airtight, and lightweight trunks that could be stacked, making it much easier for travel. The iconic LV monogram was launched in 1896. The key ball made its debut in 1930, and soon after came the Speedy. Out of the literally hundreds of Louis Vuitton handbag designs, the diamond is the Capucines. These bags range in price from $6,100 for the Mini in Torreon leather to about $8,000 for the Capucines MM in Torreon leather and Python leather trim. One of the most expensive bags is the Capucines Mini that retails for $9,050. This handbag is made of calfskin, Swarovski crystals, calfskin trim, cowhide lining, and silver color mother of pearl hardware. Number 9. Dior Dior was founded on December 16, 1946 in Paris, France by Christian Dior. Dior launched as a fashion house in 1947 on the Avenue Montaigne. The fashion house immediately took off when Dior presented the new look, a revolutionary design aesthetic that included full skirts, tight waists, and soft shoulders the style would become incredibly popular in the 1950s. The first Dior handbag was launched in 1995. Diana, Princess of Wales, popularized the handbag when she began wearing it while out in public. Because the bag design was inspired by her, and also because of her ringing endorsement, it became known as the Lady Dior. The Lady Dior continues to be the fashion house's most coveted handbag. The large Dior Caro bag and supple canache calfskin retails for $5,000. The large Dior zip bowling bag with multicolored decaryotides and smooth calfskin retails for a whopping $7,000. Ah, a bowling bag for 7 Gs. I don't think so. 
The classic Lady Dior Small typically ranges in price from $5,300 to $5,600. The medium, made of lambskin or grand canache calfskin, retails for $6,100. And the large Lady Dior in canache lambskin is $6,500. But if money ain't a thing, spring for the small Lady Dior bag in gray smooth calfskin and satin with beaded embroidery. This will set you back $8,100. Number 8. Lana Marks This eponymous label was founded in 1987 in New York City, New York by New York socialite Lana Marks. The business is family owned and operated. Her daughter, Tiffany Marks Isaacs, took over as CEO in 2019 when Lana was tapped by then-President Donald Trump to be the ambassador to South Africa. The brand's specialty is luxury exotic leather fashion handbags in a range of bright and fabulous colors. The brand uses exotic leathers such as American alligator, crocodile, ostrich, and lizard. Many celebrity women have worn her bags on and off the red carpet. The high quality and expert craftsmanship using bespoke materials is a big reason why these bags sell out. Her signature bag is the Baby Lunchbox in Red Alligator. The lunchbox was her first design and it continues to be one of the most popular. The Red Alligator Lunchbox retails for $8,600. Other notable bags in the collection is the Capri Clutch in Emerald Green Alligator, which retails for $6,500. The Cleopatra Clutch and Metallic Silver Alligator goes for $8,900, and the Extra Large Jet Tote and Black Alligator is currently selling for $18,775. Lana Marks uses natural dyes, sustainable products, and artisanal handcrafted production. Since 1989, the brand has worked in alligator conservation. Number 7. Moina. Moyna was founded in 1849 by Pauline Moyna and Octavi and Francois Colombier in Paris, France. Like Louis Vuitton, Moyna began as a premier trunk maker. Their designs and innovations brought forth waterproof trunks and the English trunk. The English trunk, or the Moyna trunk, was lightweight, making it easier and more economical for people traveling by train. In 1925, Moyna gained high popularity and acclaim when they introduced the automobile trunks. Moyna launched their first handbag, the Rejane, in 1903. Made 100% of Torreon leather and gold-finished metal hardware, this bag today retails for $4,800. By 1976, the Colombier family no longer owned Moyna and the brand sat dormant until it was revived in the late 2000s and sold to LBMH in 2010. Moyna bags are exquisitely crafted and stitched by hand by experienced artisans. Some of the most popular bags are the Rajan, the Gabrielle, the Flory, and the Voyage. My personal favorite is the Voyage PM, a beautifully constructed top handle bag made of full-grain Torreon blush leather with full-grain Perla calf leather lining and silver color hardware. Each bag comes with a removable zip pocket and retails for $4,900. Number 6. Del Vaux Del Vaux was founded in 1829 by Charles Del Vaux in Brussels, Belgium. Today, the brand is owned by First Heritage Brands. Del Vol is the oldest leather luxury goods house in the world. The brand was known as a maker of fine luggage and was the first company to patent the leather handbag in 1908. In 1933, Del Vol was sold to Franz Schwenick. Schwenick introduced seasonal collections and in 1958, at the Brussels World's Fair, the Brilliant, designed by Paul Gothals, debuted. The Brillant MM is made of Rodeo grain calf leather with natural calf skin lining and palladium hardware. It has the signature D as the buckle. The bag starts at about 5,700 euros and tops out at about 5,900 euros. The Tom Pet MM and PM 
come in both supple and crispy calf leather and has gold metal hardware. This handbag usually retails from 4,700 euros to 5,200 euros. The brand's premier bag is the Brillant MM Leather D in Dream Calf Leather. This marvelously crafted handbag consists of hand-stitched leather Ds and has the signature gold metal hardware. This bag retails for 10,500 euros. Number five, Judith Lieber. Judith Lieber is a couture handbag company that specializes in novelty minadiers. The company was founded by Judith Lieber when she and her husband, artist Gerson Lieber, came to the United States from Europe. A survivor of the Holocaust, Judith was the only woman to graduate from the Handbag Makers Guild. With her knowledge of craftsmanship and textiles, Judith launched her eponymous brand in 1963. Some of her designs are animals, food, flowers, bows, teacups, champagne bottles, and even R2-D2. Each miniardier takes two years to make. The artisans are the best and the materials are top-notch. Semi-precious stones are used in the construction of the bags, which are first molded by an expert sculptor. Italian leather, Austrian crystal, raw brass, sterling silver, and 24 karat gold are used to construct these exquisite pieces. The miniardiers are hand-painted, and the Austrian crystals are placed one by one by a skilled artisan. The bags retail in the thousands. For instance, the Just For You Beau Miniardier retails for $5,995, and the Sunken Treasure Chest goes for $7,295. Judith Lieber was and continues to be loved by socialites, first ladies, famous actresses, and women of wealth and prestige. Lieber bags are collected by the world's best museums, like the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C., the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, and the Victoria and Albert Museum in London, England. Number four, Chanel. Chanel was founded by Coco Chanel in 1910 in Paris, France. The company is currently owned by Alain Wertheimer and Gerard Wertheimer. Chanel first began as a millinery shop whose clientele was the mistresses of rich and influential men. Coco Chanel designed her first handbag in 1929, but it would be the 255, which debuted in 1955, that would come to define the Chanel classic flap style. Later, Karl Lagerfeld, who became creative director in 1983, introduced the CC logo, which is now a signature of Chanel bags. Though Chanel is one of the preeminent handbag brands, there have been many complaints about the quality, such as the hardware, the lambskin, and the shoulder strap, just to name a few. But despite this, Chanel has increased their prices consistently over the years. The large classic handbag in grain calfskin or lambskin with gold-toned metal retails for $9,500. The Chanel Jumbo Double Flap shoulder bag in 100% caviar leather with silver tone hardware is currently selling for almost $11,000, and that's pre-owned. The 2003 Mini Classic Flap Shoulder in light pink caviar leather and gold tone hardware is currently selling for $16,000. Of course, these handbags sell for whatever someone is willing to pay. And for Chanel bags, quality issues be damned, people are still willing to pay a king's ransom. Number three, Aspreys. Founded in 1781 by William Aspreys in Mitcham, Surrey, UK, Aspreys began as a silk printing business that later became a luxury emporium. Known for their dressing cases, Aspreys would eventually become a retailer of fine jewelry, leather goods, handbags, timepieces, silver, china, and crystal. It currently holds a royal warrant from the Prince of Wales for its fine jewelry. 
It is owned by U.S. equity firm Science Capital Management. Asprey's has been warned by royalty, nobility, and the highest of the aristocracy for nearly two and a half centuries. Asprey's typically uses products like bullskin, kid suede, semi-precious stones, and palladium hardware. Bags start from around $3,000 and can go well into the tens of thousands, depending on the exotic leather used. The handbag collections are the 1781, the 167, the Bell, the Taylor, the Polo, and the Harbor Tote. The house makes handbags in rare exotic skins such as crocodile and python. The 167 Mini in jade, sky blue, and Malibu crocodile has a teal kid suede interior, a handcrafted crocodile tassel with semi-precious lapis lazuli bead, and palladium finish hardware. This bag retails for $31,350. Number 2. Kumi Kumi was founded by Kumi Bai Singh in 2002 in Bombay, India, and is owned and operated by its founder. Kumi is an artist that specializes in one-of-a-kind jewelry pieces made of the rarest, most precious stones and metals. Her pieces are heavily inspired by her Indian heritage and spirituality. She has since moved into handbags. All handbags are made of rare and exotic skins, as well as precious and semi-precious stones. The least expensive bag is the 20K Red Arapaima Ancient Roman Glass and Diamond Handbag. This beautiful piece is made with red arapaima and red lambskin. The interior is brown suede, the clasp is ancient Roman glass that is accented with rose-cut diamond pavé set in 20-karat yellow gold. This one-of-a-kind handbag is $29,000. The Luminosity American Alligator Purse retails for an eye-watering $80,000. This magnificent piece is made of American alligator patent leather. The gold handle is 20 carats of gold, with 8.19 carats of diamond slices and diamond pavé. The interior contains a gold kumi logo plate. Now, here are some honorable mentions. Ortus. Goyard. Vulgari. Bottega Veneta. And, of course, the number one most expensive and coveted handbag brand, Hermé. Hermé was founded in 1837 by Thierry Hermé in Paris, France. The company is still owned and operated by the Hermé family. Hermé began as a company that made high-quality harnesses, bridles, saddles, and other horse and carriage accessories for the world's elite. Hermé was also the first to introduce the zipper for use on leather goods and clothing. The company started making handbags in 1922. Though there are several different bag designs, such as the Picotin, the Evelyn, the hair bag, the mini Kelly Pochette, and the Kelly Cut, the Kelly and the Birkin remain the brand's most coveted bags. These bags are difficult to get. Going into an Hermé boutique and purchasing a Birkin or Kelly is not possible. You can buy the bag second hand or be put on a years long wait list. You can also purchase other Hermé luxury goods like their silk scarves, shoes and jewelry as a way of increasing your chances of scoring a Birkin, Kelly or Constance. But again, no guarantees. There is no limit to how high these bags can go. As of now, a pre-owned Birkin 30 in Togo leather with silver tone hardware is going for $36,000. And the pre-owned Birkin 30 in Tyrian pink ostrich leather, leather lining, and silver tone hardware is selling for over $40,000.
One of the reasons the bags are so coveted is because they are one of the only handbag brands that appreciates and values so much that they are a better investment than the S&P 500. $10,000 spent on a Kelly today can net you a princely sum in the future. So, there you have it. The 10 most expensive and coveted handbag brands. Do you agree with the list? If you had the money, which brand would you choose? Do you own any of these handbags? Do you think they are worth the price? Discuss in the comments. Please like and share this content. And as always, be safe, be wealthy, and join me next week for another episode of Decadent Wealth.